Hello, in this video, we are going to solve this problem, problem 3.51 from Sadiku book. So, the question is, apply mass analysis to find V0 in the circuit of figure 3.96. And, okay, what is our goal? Our goal is to find out V0, V0, this one. And where is V0? Here, in this circuit. And what is it? It is the voltage in this node here, that is V0 relative to the ground. Okay, the ground is here. Let's see what can we do from here. So our goal is to find what is V0. And we need to use mass analysis. Mass analysis and let's do it step by step. The first step that we need to do is to draw all the loops and also to extract all the information, right? So we need to draw all the loops. Okay, and I think we will have three loops in this circuit, right? So let's let's assume that will all of them will be in clockwise direction. So here I will have this as I1. And in this loop here, I will have I2. And also, I will have I3 in this loop here. I3. And then, aside from labeling all the loops, we also need to extract some other information. Okay, we are given that this is our ground. So, this will be our reference node. What is our reference node? That means that the voltage here will equal to zero. Good. Okay, now what can we do next? I think we can extract that I3 here because it is a current source. Therefore, we know exactly that I3 here is equal to 5 ampere. So we will have I3 is equal to 5 ampere. Good. And then what more information that we can extract? I think nothing more that we can extract from here. And now we need to move on to the second step, which is to do KVL for all the loops, for all the loops that is unknown, right? We already know I3, so I think we just need to do KVL at I1 and then KVL at I2. Okay, let's exactly do that. Let's do KVL. But this time at loop I1. Okay, what does KVL say? KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And we start from this 40 volt voltage source. Okay, and the current here is entering from the negative terminal. So I will have negative sign there. So we'll have negative, and then the magnitude is. 40 volt so i will have 40 we already hit in voltage right and then what else we move on to this one ohm resistor so i will have plus one ohm however we need voltage how to get voltage from resistance we multiply it by the current okay the only current that pass through it is i1 okay that's good now let's move on to this two ohm resistor so i will have plus two Again, to get voltage, we multiply it by the current. And because we are currently working on I1, I1 should always come first. I1 here. But then here, I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I subtract I3 from it. However, we know that I3 is 5. So just plug in that 5 here. Right? So you have 5. Good. And I think we still need one more component here. So we will have plus and I will have four. Again, because we are working on I1 here, I1 always came first. So I will have I1. And then here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I'll have minus I2. Good. And all of that will equal to zero. Good. Now let's see here, I1 came from three term, right? So I will have this one, this one, and that one. One plus two plus four, that will be seven I1. 
Okay. And then, what else that comes? I think only I2 came from it, right? So I will have minus I2, but there is 4 of it. So I will have minus 4 I2. But then here I will have minus 4T, but I also have another constant term, minus 5, but there is 2 of them. So I will have minus 4T, minus 10, right? So I have minus 4T and minus 10, and all of that will equal to 0. Or we can simplify this, I will have 7I1, and then minus 4I2, okay, minus 4T minus 10 is minus 50, but we move it to the right hand side so i have 50 here and i think nothing that we can do further from here let's save this as equation number one good now we need to do one more kvl but this time is for this node here let's do exactly that so the things that we need to do is to do kvl at i2 KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's start from this 4 ohm resistor. So I will have 4. But here we were working on I2. So I2 always came first. I2. Here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I subtract I1 from it. Good. And then I will have plus, let's move on to this 8 ohm resistor. So I will have 8. And the only current that passed through it is I2. So I will have I2 here. And then what else? I will have this 20 volt voltage source. And here the current is flowing into ne the negative terminal here. So our sign will be negative. F minus and then 20. And all of that will equal to zero. Good. And here I1 term only came here. Minus 1 multiplied by 4. So I will have minus 4 I1. Okay. But then I2 came from this place. 4 I2 and then 8 I2. That will be 12 I2. Right. So we will have plus 12 I2. And then let's move this minus 20 to the right hand side so i will have 20 there okay and we will have the second equation here so we have two equation with two variables equation number one and equation number two which is need to be solved which is the step three of our analysis which is to solve the equation and what is the fastest way to do that? We need to use calculator. Usually in the circuit analysis, you can bring your calculator. So why don't just use it? So we will have this calculator here. Okay, this is from my previous calculation, but that is not a problem. But let's reset it. So we will have this. And we need to set this up here, this button. And equation solver is number 5. And we need two variables so press number one and i will have this one so all we need to do is to plug in all the coefficients and i will have seven and then minus four and then 50 here good but then the second equation here i will have minus four i1 and then 12 i2 and then 20 and we will have our x value here as i1 which is 10 which is very nice number so i will have i1 here is equal to 10 and then what is i2 i2 is the y value right so we will have 5 here so this is i1 and i2 what about the unit because all of the components are in si unit we can assume that this is also in SI unit. The SI unit for current is ampere. So I have ampere and this also in ampere. But then the question is asking us about P0, not I1 and I2. And that is the last step of the analysis here, which is to 
uh, answer the question. Answer the question. And what is the question? The question is asking us for V0. Okay, let's see what can we do from here. What is V0? V0 is this voltage here. But then we can calculate that using this one here, this current. And this current is I1 here that is flowing to the same direction minus I2. So we will have I1 and then minus I2. And remember Ohm's law, we need to multiply it by the resistance between them. So I will have 4 Ohm. Good. And what is I1? I1 is 10. And what is I2? I2 is 5. So we multiply it by 4. Therefore, 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 times 4, that will be 20. And I think the unit will be in 4. And so we have achieved our goal. So our goal is V0. And we know that V0 is 24. And I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.